Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag73 channel. Today's July 23rd, 2015. I want to do a video on gold, what's happening, uh, what I think is driving the price down, the real reason, um, what I'm doing, and kind of a few different things that are happening now as far as articles that are just seem to be coming out every day on Market Watch. I just did a video a couple days ago on one. But I, I didn't want to cover those articles. I just want to point out one main thing in those articles. That being where all three of these articles on July 20th, 21st, and 23rd all mention the same exact thing. Which gives you a perception of the type of people that buy gold. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this already. But... I wanted to point this out. You're going to see conspiracy theories <laughs> in all three of these articles. I mean, they, they lean towards the fact that if you're buying gold, you know, you're a conspiracy theorist. You got your little tinfoil hat on. Um, this is the one that came out three days ago. Gold slump is here to stay. I mean, gold is... Just something that after 5,000 years is a store of value for humanity. It's finally being replaced by, I don't know, Netflix shares or Google shares. Um, I just think that's a bunch of BS. I think it's horrendously oversold. Not to say it couldn't go lower. Uh, you know, I man, I, I think we could even see like... Eight nine hundred gold. We can even see five hundred gold. I have no idea where the bottom is. Okay, that's not what this is about. But I think that from an oversold position, from manipulation of the paper derivatives, we've gotten to where we're at. Now, I guess uh, these guys here, like uh, Mr. Reeves, would consider me a conspiracy theorist. Fine, that's fine. I mean, is it so far-fetched to have a theory about two or more individuals meeting in secrecy behind closed doors to plan something illegal or harmful to others? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, that's like the normal business way, the normal political way. That's just a normal way, but they want you to think that that's some crazy nut, nutbag that you know, would think that two people plan in secrecy something. Uh, so anyhow, I better hurry up here. Uh, let's see. Conspiracy theories. Here's the article I did video on a couple days ago. Mentioned again. And then over here on this uh, open letter to investors who are bullish on gold. Uh, this guy here wants us to surrender our gold and wave the white flag. And he's talking conspiracy theorists. So mentioned in all three of these articles. I just want to point out UBS did s settle this was November 2014, silver and gold manipulation activities. I mean, this was it. And they were researching, investigating all these other banks. So whatever. Uh, that's conspiracy fact now. Manipulation of gold and silver, no longer a theory. Uh, I want to talk about China. I didn't do the video on China like I wanted to right when I heard about it. Because I was just kind of... I can't even really explain it. I was upset, let down. I just thought it was bullshit. They're lying to us about how much they have. Maybe this is what the Central Bank of China really has, but there's been thousands of tons going into China. So maybe they have it all at the commercial banks, which they have access to. But And so they're having it done that way. So not to show that they have so much gold. Um, because since they announced that they only went up 600 tons in the last six years, Gold's really nosedived in the past week, week and a half. So we have um, Jim Rickards here saying that China officially says they have about a thousand tons, but we all know that's not true. You know, they, they could have three, four, five thousand. This was before they announced he was saying this. I mean, he's talking about 700 tons a year going in through Hong Kong and then. I have information I talk about in my book. That they're bringing gold through military convoys through Central Asia. Um, that could be coming from Russia, 
Kazakhstan. And so, you know, he brings the number up to 1,500 tons a year. My figures were 2013, 2,200 tons went in, 73% of annual world production. And 2014, 2,000 tons went into the country through Shanghai and through Hong Kong. So I've been tracking this for years. Tons and tons, thousands of tons of gold has been going in. So I just think that's a BS number. I think that's part of what's going on here. China's been hoarding gold and it isn't likely to stop. July 19th, another article. You know, they passed Russia now, but and that's who I was going to mention. I wanted to point out something real quick here on my blog, which I haven't done anything on in a very long time. It's just I didn't have the time. I may try and ramp this up again now that I have a little more time. But I wanted to mention on here... Where it shows, I'm sorry, this is taking a second to load here. It shows 131 million ounces for China, like half of what the U.S. has. They're above Germany, Italy, France. This has been like this for years. I did a video on this years ago. 131 million. It's about 4,000 tons. Where does this information come from? It comes from oilprice.com. It's been like this for a couple of years. Why they have this number I have no idea, but you go down here and it tells you exactly where the information is coming from. Here it is. Here's for the widget right here. World gold holding figures for various nations. Has production figures for 2011. All figures are in ounces. Adjusts every second. <laughs> this gets adjusted every second. Data source, IMF. Recalculated when new figures are released monthly. Well, they've had this like this for, I don't know, that's just a very odd thing that I pointed out a while back. Anyhow, here's Russia's boosting its gold reserves as prices plunge. I might do a separate video on this. In June, they just added another, what was it, 800,000 ounces of gold. They, you know, these big conspiracy theorists right here, uh, Russia. I'm telling you, I'm going to stand over with Russia and China and do what they're doing because I'm not just going to believe these opinionated market watch columnists calling me a conspiracy theorist because I want to have something real in my hands to protect my wealth rather than some paper assets. Okay, so now I was going to show you real quick on my site. This is that last video I just did a couple of days ago. You know, I have China's gold imports, 2012, 2013. I don't even, I didn't even update it to 2014, but you know, I've been tracking this for a very long time. I don't believe that number at all. So part of the story is China. This is the real thing I wanted to mention. The most important thing. Do not let the strong dollar illusion lead your wealth preservation strategies astray. This is what I really think is happening. Gold's down 50 percent in you know since around 2011. Dollars up 30 percent. So it's not exactly what's happening, but that to me is a big portion of what's happening here.